you know, it's what I call, the, we need to give our students a robot-proof education. So beyond the disciplines that they need to have in business, engineering, health, whatever it is, they need to <clears throat> understand two things. One is what I call the new literacy. You know, the tech literacy, how to code. Everybody is going to have to code in the same way that everybody type, used to type a typewriter. So a tech literacy, basics of computer science, data literacy, human literacy, understand others, how they behave, how they can work with others in this environment, ethics, values, whatever it is. And beyond that, we need to start focusing on what makes us unique as a human species that intelligent systems and robots don't have yet and hopefully will not have the ability to be wildly creative the ability to be very entrepreneurial and innovative the ability to have cultural agility the ability to understand the world i haven't met a robot that is entrepreneurial that is creative and is writing like you know gabriel garcia marquez or any of the great writers in the world i haven't met a, a, a robot that can paint a mural like diego rivera or siqueiros or be an artist like tamayo that's what we need to develop creativity entrepreneurship and innovation cultural energy to understand people who are different from us and people who are in other parts of the world, the global agility, the cultural agility. That's unique to human beings. Now, robots are in, and intelligent systems are getting better and better and better. Therefore, we cannot tell our students, you're robot-proof for life, because they, there are new fields being created. They need to understand the revolutions that are happening. Their jobs will become obsolete. 45% of the jobs we know are going to disappear in the next 15 years. And not the jobs that require muscle, but the jobs that you know, require also brain. So learners, people have to learn throughout their lives. This is what I call the lifelong lear learning need. So the best thing we can do for our students is to provide them with opportunities throughout their lives for lifelong learning. And universities have not moved into lifelong learning yet. That, you know, and I mentioned that universities risk becoming like the railway industry the railway industry said to itself, I am not in the transportation business, and they missed the airline revolution. Our mission is to educate students for life. And if we don't do it, somebody else is going to do it. Our mission is not to educate students from the age of 18 to 22, the undergrads, and do research and do some professional masters. Our obligation and our mission is to provide education for life. So the best thing we can do with our students is to provide them with the opportunity to redefine themselves, to understand the new domains, and to explore what they want to do in this environment that is ever-changing. First of all, I want to uh, thank you for hosting me here. It was a real privilege to be uh, at the Tech de Monterrey and the conference. Let me tell you what impressed me the most. This is a university that has a lot of energy, that has a lot of creativity, that is exploring, that is innovating. This is a university that is making itself robot-proof. It's a real pleasure to be with you here.